If the first two seasons of Naperville Sports Weekly taught us anything, it's to expect a deep playoff run from our area schools. Season three proved to be no different. Let's take a look at the 2009-2010 school year in this latest edition of the NSW Time Capsule presented by BMO Harris Bank. Welcome sports fans to another season of Naperville Sports Week. Three seasons into Naperville Sports Weekly and a noticeable trend had developed. Three years and three state champion boys cross country teams. In the fall of 2009, it was Niqua Valley who claimed its second state title in three years. Five runners in the top 30 and all seven in the top 55, displaying the depth and pack running technique Wildcat runners have perfected over the years. <laughs> Naperville North girls also had a strong performance at Detweiler Park finishing just one spot away from a state trophy in fourth place. Bennett Academy girls tennis had a flawless conference season in the East Suburban Catholic Conference. Literally flawless. The Red Wings went 10-0 and a perfect 50-0 in their conference matches during the season. Bennett also won the Naperville North sectional and tied for 17th at the state meet. During the winter season, Nequa Valley had one of its best collections of talent in wrestling. In February of 2010, the Wildcats sent four sectional champions to the state meet, with three of them making it to the final day. Alex Chizik took sixth at 145 pounds, Nick Proctor finished third at 160, and Andy Spangler finished as the state runner-up at 171 pounds. The boys' state swim meet was a Naperville heavy affair. Nequa Valley entered as the favorites after winning the sectional by 20 points, but Naperville Central was neck and neck with the Wildcats heading into the meet's final event. It all came down to the 400 yard freestyle relay, Central finishing ahead of Nequa by less than a second to clinch the state title for the Red Hawks. Going for the first title in program history, Wabonzi Hockey made it all the way to the Black Hawk Cup in the combined state championship game. The Warriors lost a thrilling, high-scoring affair, 7-5 to the powerhouse Rockford team. Wabonzi Valley Girls Soccer brought home its third state championship trophy in four years, avenging an early season loss to Sandberg with a 3-0 win in the title game behind star senior and current Chicago Red star Vanessa DiBernardo. The 2010 baseball season was a bittersweet one for Naperville Central. The team lost longtime pitching coach Phil Lawler to cancer during the year, but the Red Hawks rallied under longtime head coach Bill Seipel to end the year on an 18-game winning streak. Central won its second state baseball championship in school history, breaking the school record for wins after a 38-4 season. Season 3 saw several programs once again reaching the pinnacle of high school sports, while some made their mark for the first time. As the five Naperville programs continue to rack up state trophies, a brand new school is getting ready to begin its first year of varsity competition.